two days, two days since our mom told me that Percy wanted to talk to me and I still haven't heard a peep. I mean, what is up with him? Does he enjoy keeping me in suspense? He says he wants to talk, but then he doesn't talk. He doesn't even tell me that he wants to talk. He tells my brother. It's like, does he even want to talk to me? Or is he just spreading rumors so that my anxieties and fears eat me alive? Ugh, I just wish we could get it over with. I mean, if he doesn't want to talk, he should just tell me. That way I don't have to keep waiting around like this. And don't think I haven't tried talking to him, because I have. Well, sort of. Well, I'm not avoiding him like he clearly is with me. Just why can't he just, uh, he's just like, uh, it's open. Hey, Marguerite. Percy, uh, I mean, Blake, hi. Can I come in? Yes, um, come, sit. I see you're filming. Yeah, it helps me sort Helps you out. sort out your thoughts. I know. I finally got around to watching all your videos. Oh, okay. I if you want, I can turn it off. If, like, I already no, no. caused into trouble with this. Leave, leave it on. Oh, why? Well, I think your viewers might find what I have to say interesting. Oh, what do you have to say? Um, <clears throat> I would like to explain my actions over the past few weeks. Oh no, you don't owe me or my viewers anything. No, I, I do. Or at least to you. You've been through a lot these past few weeks and all because people haven't been open with you. If I had been up front with you in the first place, all of this could have been avoided. What? I just can't believe you're not mad. Don't get me wrong. I was mad at you at first. But then I realized it wasn't your fault. Everyone was to blame in some way. Me, Armand, Andrew, Chauvelin, especially Chauvelin. Everyone involved had some part to play. It wasn't just you. But... I watched the videos. I saw what happened. And I think your whole ordeal more than makes up for any trouble you caused me. Which is why I'm here, because uh, I feel like I have a few things to explain. Like what? Well, I'm guessing you have a few questions. Well, yeah, a few. Okay then. Would you like to join me in a round of Ask the Pimpernel? Welcome back, folks, to another round of Ask the Pimpernel. I'm your host. Marguerite Sanders. Today we got the Scarlet Pimpernel himself, Percy Blakey! Thank you, thank you. Now, there have been a lot of mysteries with the Scarlet Pimpernel. Where it has it on the street, you're here to tell all. That is true, Marguerite. Fantastic. Are you ready to begin? I am. Oh, uh, here we go. First question. Why didn't you answer your phone for two weeks after the law suspect passed? I actually did answer my phone. Andrew got a hold of me shortly after I ran into Chauvelin at the Grey Cat. After 200 phone calls, one gets the idea that something's up. Fascinating! Second question. If Andrew got a hold of you, why didn't he say anything? Because I told him not to. I didn't want anything to appear out of the ordinary. So I told him to meet me the following Monday in the city, alone, so we could make new plans. Which I later found out through your videos, uh, you followed him. Interesting! Alright, third question. Did you or did you not know that Paul Chauvelin was on your tail from the very beginning? I actually did not. I knew he was not friendly to the different people or to me, but I never realized how far he would go. Uh, I first had my suspicions when I saw you two in the parking lot at the Granville Ball. And then you confirmed my suspicions that day when you said everything in the apartment. But only after Andrew got a hold of me did I realize how close he actually was. Riveting! Alright, next question. How did you manage to get information from Rob S. Pierce's house without being caught? Simple. I didn't go into his house. What? But there, there was a note. The petition is being voted on. You had information. I didn't get the information from Pierre's house. Dr. Wales did. But how? Dr. Wales has been on the inside for a very long time. We've been exchanging information for years. 
Before Pierre went out of town, Dr. Wales had a meeting at Pierre's house. It was then that he left the letter out for me. I was there that night, but only to break a bottle in the street so that Chauvelin would think that a window had been broken. I had no idea you were there, though. What about the information? I got that through simple detective work. Asked the right people the right questions, and boom. Evidence that the governor was blackmailed. But Chauvelin? Yes, well, when Andrew told me that he was on my tail, I knew I had to keep him busy while I finished my investigation. So Andrew and I gave him a little red herring to chase. What did you do? I let Chauvelin follow me to the electronics store. Beth is an old friend, and uh, I once pulled her out of a beating, so she was more than happy to help me out. She agreed to tell Chauvelin that she overheard me and her boss talking about a secret plan to break into Pierre's house and steal some evidence. I can't believe it. You're amazing. I don't know about that, but yes. Yes, I am. Yeah, you had such a positive force on people for so long, and I just... I ruined it. I brought it all down in just a couple of weeks. Don't be so hard on yourself. It was bound to happen eventually. It's hard to keep a secret identity in this day and age. I'm surprised I kept it up for as long as I did. Now that you're found out, I mean, Robis Pierre flat out said that all the members of the League are going to be expelled. Oh yes, I'm definitely expelled. I'm the Scarlet Pimper now. Oh, Percy. I mean, Blake. I always liked it when you called me Percy. It doesn't sound so good when others say it. It's kind of a silly name, but when you say it... Look, I honestly don't mind being expelled. There are other schools. I'm just worried about the other members of the League. I'm going to try and pull what strings I may have left to help them stay. <laughs> there may be some hope. If we can just get this petition repealed, there is a chance that we can turn this school to one of the finest in the country. See you after Thanksgiving. <laughs>